Here we are again with What It Takes Radio Company. We're helping you reach your audience and bringing your message to life. And that's what it's all about today because we have stories about podcasting. And my name is Stan and uh, you heard it. Yes, right. Biden pardons his son, but Trump is going to cathedral. Oh, the lessons you can learn every day about life and business. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Stan, Stan the Radio Man, and we're back on Interesting Ideas. That's one of the programs. But we also have the Transformation Zone, and we're soon going to be doing the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience podcast. And we have a few more that we will be doing and I'm going to be asking you to participate in these podcasts. And uh, in 2025, the podcasting phenomenon, which is going and growing, will narrow down, but it will also expand. I mean, narrow down is a lot of people will try it and it won't work. However, it will expand for those people who are wise enough and smart enough and perhaps determined enough to make it work for them. And so uh, that's what this is about today. And uh, I'm going to play it right in the middle of the news. Now, what happened with uh, Joe Biden and his uh, pardoning of his son, Hunter, which is all around the news cycle, what that has done is that has taken the news cycle. And even though uh, that is usually what you want to do if you're a politician, not necessarily if the response is going to be bad. And so uh, very much what happened is that uh, the controversy over some of Donald Trump's picks for office uh, were muted because the uh, sights, sounds, and the music and the words turned to the pardon. And that's a good lesson for us to learn when we're trying to make it in the marketplace today. First of all, what I'm trying to help some people understand, and I have to say this very gently and kindly, uh, words don't matter or work as much as they used to. Now, here's what I mean by that. A written word a word written on a piece of paper, um, like a book, like an article, uh, something like that. Well, it's just a word. And it doesn't have light or sight or sound or a touch of entertainment to it. Now, I read books. I read a lot. I read all the time. But I also know that if I want to communicate not just gain information. If I want to just share information, I have to take my words and they have to come to life in some ways. And so that is way, that is the why, and that is the world that's going to be working now. If you want to communicate, that means connect with other people so they'll vote for you, buy your stuff, uh, follow you, vote for you, uh, give you a job, uh, whatever you would like them to do that will help make your life better. You have to learn that words seldom make the difference anymore. You see, what you want to do is you want to engage people in such a way <laughs> that they respond to you. And now it could be that you want them to uh, like you, or it could be that you want them to not like you. Uh, there could be all kinds of reasons that you do what you do when you use words. But I'm going to simply encourage you, and you're probably going to say, why am I uh, in this, uh, what looks like the inside of a church, inside of a cathedral, the stained glass windows? Well, here we go. <laughs> Uh, while Joe Biden made news on his deal with his son, uh, it is then that uh, Donald Trump is going to go to Paris, and he is going to be involved in the reopening of uh, the cathedral, you know, the cathedral in Paris, the Paris Cathedral. 
That's right. And uh, it's a big deal. Now, I've been to the cathedral in Paris uh, a number of times, uh, and uh, it's quite an experience, as are many of the very unique cathedrals that are all around Europe. But what he's going to do is he is going to put himself in a scene which is a scene of celebration and joy and restoration. So it'll be full of good sights, good sounds, good ideas, and good lights, and um, Trump will be part of that. And so he will gain the emotional benefit of being involved in a happy scene and a happy place. Smart stuff. Now, Here's another part of the lesson. Uh, guess what was true of why the cathedrals worked and why they were built and why they were central to the experience. First of all, keep in mind that most people in that time couldn't read. They didn't have books. Uh, books were expensive. And so part of the purpose of the cathedral was to serve as a mystical place where you could leave the world of the marketplace just outside the door and go into a different place, maybe a spiritual place, a mystical place, maybe a magical place. And as you walked through the windows and the changing light throughout the day, there were pictures. And oftentimes the pictures were about saints or about the stories that were in the Bible that were part of the instruments of faith that you could experience. And so it turned out to be uh, not just a place to go to. It was a, a place to go to and be perhaps transformed in some ways, at least in a little bit, in a small way that you could make a different world part of your world. Now, that's a good lesson for us. I mean, these were built hundreds, almost a thousand years ago by primitive sorts. Oh, no, 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 they weren't primitive. In many cases, they were wiser and smarter than we are. You see, all of our technology and all of our affluence and all of our education has made some of us quite dumb to the way the world really works. In effect, I just want you to think about that. We're going to be doing podcasts because they are oftentimes sight and sound of words and emotions and expressions and the ways to actually get connected to one another. So uh, just be thinking about that uh, when you are making your plans for how you are going to make your mark in the marketplace today. Just think about that. The words are seldom enough. You have to learn how to perform. You have to learn how to speak. You have to have a touch of entertainment, of lighting, sight, and sound. You have to have all of those elements that may be a part of the experience you're trying to create for people. So as you watch Donald Trump go to the cathedral and um, be a part of the show, and it is a show. <laughs> Remember, life is show business. In fact, all of business is a show business today. Um, See how perhaps you can learn something from uh, that and what you can do with it. Also, uh, I'm uh, asking you to also start contributing products to our services. And uh, I'm going to get a little bit in trouble, but no, I don't think so. Um, it came to me that as people are going through the struggles of life and marriage today, all of us could use some help. And uh, this came to me uh, because I have a relationship coach and I need that. But also, I've been able to maintain my difficult, because I'm so difficult, marriage for a, a number of years. And uh, this came to me. A book 
that needs to be written. No, a presentation that needs to be given. See the difference between a book that needs to be written and perhaps a program or presentation that needs to be given? And it would be something like this. How to be married to a bold, brave, and strong man. Because it's not easy. Yeah. How to be married to a bold, brave, and strong man. Because it's not easy. Okay, flip it. How to be married to a sweet, savvy, and strong woman. Because it's not easy. I'm going to ask friends to start writing that little presentation that after we perform it, we may give you the souvenir of a book to remember it. But uh, if you have something to say about how to be married to a bold, brave, and strong man, and how to be married to a sweet, savvy, and strong woman, I'd like to hear from you. Perhaps you could be on the program. You could be a showman, a showwoman. Uh, you could uh, share your wisdom, insight, and truth. So why don't you reach out to me? StanHouston at gmail.com. StanHouston at gmail.com. And uh, let's see where this goes. We have a lot of things that we would like to help you with this year. And we think we can help you do uh, a better job of living well in 25. Again, all the best and blessings to you. Together, let's learn how to live well and share that aliveness with others. Let's make it good. Let's make it great. Let's make it better. Perhaps let's make it one of the best. Just let that sit on your head. Maybe stir your mind and touch your heart, and let's be in touch. Take care, and bye for now.